Oh, so today we get to do the brakes on the old GMC, and if there's an award for a truck that got road hard and put away wet, I think this one definitely might be a contender. You know, she's only got 125,000 on her, but whoa, she beat. So, the problem we're having here is we got some grindage going on. The, uh, oh, the passenger wheel, you hit it and she pulls real hard, and there's definitely something unhappy going on there, so. We'll come back once we get that torn apart and see what's really going on, you know. And today's one of those good days where it's, you know, just above freezing, but, you know, we got the old redneck heater going on down there, and that's what 16.5s are good for. <laughs> Oh, we checked her tight there. Huh? Ah! 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 Now, if your air compressor doesn't have a rod knock, I don't want to talk to you. But, we'll pop this wheel off and see what's going on. And, you know it's good because the truck's supported by the finest harbor freight jack stands. But, you know, you gotta be safe because being dead makes working on trucks no fun. So at first glance, they're not terrible. I mean, she definitely there. Wear bars are almost touching, but, you know, feeling on the backside, oh, she's definitely some metal on metal edge, so. Probably explains the grinding. We'll pop that caliper and rotor off and see what's up. You're gonna wanna get some good C clampage on that caliper there with the old brake pad. It's the best way to push that piston back up in there. Otherwise, you'll be fighting yourself for hours. So, you know, she's got those speed grooves in her. Really helps her cool down and stop better. Um, you wanna make sure that you get all of the life out of your pads you know like we didn't leave anybody f anything any for anybody to you know come salvage out of the dump she's got that custom rust on her i mean she's right well hooped now the outside one yeah she's getting there she's still got a little life on her might save that for later you never know when you need a spare but now we'll swap on the new stuff and hopefully she won't be uh squarking so hard to the GM designer, who thought it'd be a good idea to use hex head bolts to uh, hold the caliper on. Get bent, dude. That sucks. Just use a normal head bolt like everybody else. I don't know what your, like, complex is, but just stop oh, it. We got the new one and the old one side by side just for comparison, so... That's pretty decent right there, and... Well, not so much. Also, rotors. Beautiful. And they sent a bunch of these, you know, sweet little rubber gasket makers and whatever else for inside of here. But I figure by the time those things wear out, it's time to replace the caliper. Or, yeah, the caliper. So I'm not even going to bother with that. We'll just slap some grease on there and call it good. Just reefing on her. Eh, click. Yeah, that's torqued. It's perfect. Oh, get number two. Freaking hex heads. Click. Well, that's all purtified right there. We'll put the wheel on, give her all of the agadagas, and then move on to side two. She's going to be stopping real nice. Oh, yeah. Torque. That's factory. It's just like the manual says. There's that pesky rod knock again. Well, we just gotta slap the center cap on and she's good. The mind boggles at this one. This is the driver's side, and you see, she's good for another at least 50 thou. Put these things on at the same time, and passenger side was just dickered. And this one, you know, you might have to be saving on those. That's a Craigslist deal. 50 bucks or best offer. I know what I have. 
just finished torquing the caliper back and I realize what makes noise when I'm turning. We've got a little rubbage going on right there on the lower control arm, right where the tire just kisses it. Just gives her a little kiss and that's okay because, you know, we got to keep those shiny in case somebody's looking. But we got our expert repairs going on here. Finest pick and pull parts you can get. And she's got a little bendage right there, but... You know, you don't worry about that. As long as it drives down the road straight, she is good to go. But we'll just slap that tire back on. Gotta go warm up the fingies at the fire real quick and we'll be all done. Mmm, so nice. Can you believe someone was just giving away these 16 five wheels? They were just gonna throw them in the dump. So you know, you can't get tires unless you get intercos, but ain't nobody want to run those on the road. We just cut the center out of that one, weld them together. Got a right nice little fire pit. Works like a chimney and everything. Well, we're out here on our private racetrack and we're gonna test these brakes out, see if they work. So we'll give her a good bit of onion and then... Oh yeah, they work just dandy. Well, that's all we need to know. We'll take her back, close up, or clean up and That'll just about do it for today.